Howdy folks, back at it again. We're in Unity. So there's another video on the channel that shows the basic uh, sort of structure of Unity, the way that you move in the camera around. So I'm not gonna review that. We're just gonna jump in and start to create stuff and learn how to interact with it. So up here on my left is our hierarchy panel. And we're gonna do the bulk of our creation in the hierarchy panel over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new 3D object here. And I'm gonna create a plane. Now that it creates a big plane, but you'll notice a plane is super, super thin. In fact, it's so thin there's nothing actually there. So if we go underneath the plane, you can't see that side because there's nothing there. It's only a one dimensional, one or two dimensional kind of object here. So we're, uh, we created a plane and we're gonna, in this video, have a ball that drops on that plane. So I can move the plane here with my move tool up here up and down, just like in Blender, how we can do that on the different axes. Um, but I want to really try to use this transform uh, section here of the inspector panel, because that means we can be really precise. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back at zero, zero, zero for its position, it's sort of the default position. And uh, I'm gonna make it twice as big. So on the X scale, I could go to the scale tool here and I could drag it up, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna undo that. I'm actually gonna go to the inspector panel and make it twice as big. Two in that direction and two in the Z direction. I'm gonna leave the Y direction because the Y in uh, Unity is straight up and down. And if we moved that, let's make it two. It doesn't actually do anything. If I make it two, 2100, there we go doesn't actually do anything because there's no dimensionality to a plane, right? A plane is a two dimensional object and we're trying to change a third dimension, so it's not gonna work. But I made it two, twice as big right here and that's how I want it. Okay, so now we have a plane here. I'm gonna click off of it and I'm gonna create a ball because we're gonna make a ball game. So I'm gonna go 3D object again, create a sphere. There we go. And our sphere created something weird, so I'm gonna create it, put it at zero, zero, zero. And then if we zoom in here, you can see that our sphere is sort of embedded in our in our panel. See that? So we actually don't want that. We want the sphere to float on top of the panel. So we could position it on the y-axis here. We could go, I don't know, five, oh, it's way up. And you can see the light source that we have over here is shining down, creating that shadow there. So we want to change the sphere to, I don't know, one, that's still floating. Zero has been, was halfway between zero and one, is 0.5. And remember in Unity, these uh, numbers here are not, uh, they're not real units. They're just Unity units. So they're not millimeters, they're not inches, they're not uh, meters. They are just Unity units, just relative scale. So it's helpful to keep them whole numbers for when we're doing more complicated things later. If I want to move things in whole numbers, if I want to go to my scale, my move tool over here, and hold down control and move, you can see it starts moving it in whole numbers, which is handy. 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. I'm gonna let go of control, it's gonna start moving it crazily. So I want to again put that at 0 0.5. Okay, uh, so now we have a sphere and we have a, um, have a plane. And so that's not very exciting though. So um, I'm gonna teach you some other stuff in another video.